Hey, everybody, it's Randy from Cummings and Company Realtors, the Pomfrey team. I just wanted to reach out to you guys today and talk about foundation cracks, foundation problems, foundation issues, and everything. What are the real ones? What are the ones that aren't so worrisome? And how do you tell the difference between the two of them? First of all, there are two main things that you need to be concerned about with foundation. The first and most obvious is, is this house going to cave in on me while I'm sleeping? That is the most troublesome. If you're worried about something like that, it's definitely best to get it checked out by a licensed professional. Um, if you're that concerned about it, maybe even move on to a different house. The second concern, which is uh, much more common <clears throat> than houses caving in on you, is water intrusion. Because when you have cracks, that means there's a, a gap in the foundation and water is most definitely going to fall through. Especially, you know, if you remember recently all the rain that we've had, it's finding its way in. So here's a couple of things um, to look for. Remember that all water intrusion starts from the outside. Okay, you may be tempted to spend lots of time and energy in your basement, painting, dry locking, plugging it even coating the walls with plastic or whatever it is that you might come up with a solution. But remember, you need to start outside because that's where the water starts. So you need to start by making sure that you have a positive slope away from your house. Like if my head is the house, you need to have a slope away from your house so that um, the water is rushing away from your house when it rains. Make sure that your gutters aren't clogged. Make sure that you don't have like a ditch around your house from where the water is gushing over the water, um, the gutters, not water, um, and <clears throat> getting its way into your house. If you indeed have a negative slope, that means that the water is all rushing towards your foundation. It's going down the foundation walls and it's resting against your foundation excuse me, until such time as it can find a way in. So start with the outside. Make sure you have a positive slope going away from your house. That may be more difficult than you can imagine, um, or just on the surface, because you might need to actually change some of the direction of the flow of water to your house. You may have a neighbor whose yard slopes towards your house. You may have a big hill that's coming to your house. You may need to create a berm or some kind of like speed bump type thing that diverts the water away from your house. So um, some signs that you're gonna have problems, soil erosion, um, if you see effervescence in your basement, or obviously any wetness, um, if there are no gutters on the house, or if the gutters are overflowing, um, if the gutters are inadequate for the rainfall, like for example, if you have one roof spilling onto another roof and all of that going to one gutter, that gutter's not gonna be able to handle that kind of rainfall. So you're gonna need to have another downspout. Make sure your downspouts are going as far away from the house as possible. You might need to get one of those extenders on it to take it a good 10 or 15 feet away. Make sure that your patios, your walkways, your decks, anything that's stopping the water is leaning away. Now, obviously you don't wanna have a deck that's like leaning, but you definitely don't wanna have a deck that's leaning towards your house either. And you wanna make sure that it's sealed and you wanna make sure that everything is um, sealed up tightly. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of uh, things that we see on a regular basis, here is one. <clears throat> Just cover myself up with it. Let's put it there. Um, this is an example of stair step cracking. This is where the cracking is following the um, outline of the block itself. Usually not terrible. This basement does look pretty terrible. It looks like they have a lot of Cat5 cables. They're not into um, keeping up with their basement, but they are into their internet, apparently. Um, and you can see the electric outlet is uncovered, but whatever, we're going to concentrate on this. Some of the things that I'm most concerned about are these um, horizontal cracks that are going across here, because these are the ones that where there's hydrostatic pressure, it's a lot of water on the outside. And it's, you know, and it could be my imagination, but it kind of seems like at this point right here, that the walls are kind of like, bending a little bit and pressing in. <clears throat> so this is something that you definitely want addressed by a licensed professional. Uh, this looks like it was done homemade style. Here's another example of something we see. This is typically a parge coat on the outside of the house. Um, this is usually only about half an inch thick, give or take. And this is just, you know, a coating over top of concrete to kind of make it look a little nicer. Um, 
If I was really concerned about the cracking here, I would go ahead and pull one of these chips off and take a look underneath and see, is it just a, a bad you know, design on the outside or is it actually cracking all the way through the house? But remember this just in and of itself is cosmetic. Another thing that we see <coughs> quite a bit of is like I was pointing out earlier is these horizontal lines. And this one actually goes through the concrete block and doesn't even, so they've got the stair stepping crack and they've got the horizontal crack. Looks like they've got a sump pump and they do have a battery backup on it. So kudos to them for that. There are fixes for this, but it's it can be costly and can be worrisome. If you are in a house that is having a problem like this, you definitely want to call in an expert and your realtor is not an expert on all of these things. We've seen them all the time. So like I've seen a lot of trains, but I'm not an expert on trains. So we're definitely going to call in the experts to, you know, see if this is worth it or find you another house. Here's something that is terribly troublesome. We've all um, heard stories about how, you know, important the cornerstone is, the foundation and stuff like that. It seems like this house was poorly built, wasn't constructed correctly. This cornerstone is actually separating from the house. This is a major issue because once this weight shifts again um, and it doesn't have anything to rest upon, you're going to have some problems. And then this is probably one of the most common things that we see. This is actually in a crawl space and this is effervescence. It can come in the form of black, white, all different colors and shades, but oftentimes it's just like a chalky little dusting. And what happens is, is it's coming through your concrete and it's like the precursor that you're going to have some serious water issues very soon. So, not to scare anybody off or anything, most of these problems can be fixed very easily. Some of them require some bracing, a little bit more um, to it, but the reality is <clears throat> keep your eyes open, look for these things inside and outside the house. And if you're already in a house, it's your house, and you're having questions or issues about it, then let us know and we'll get you hooked up with the right uh, professionals to get that taken care of. Thanks, you guys have a great day.